Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna to cover a really popular question, which is how do I become a quant? So I recommend that you actually look up here. I'm gonna put little cards, little messages that pop out that are videos I've made, which is uh, what's a quant and why you're not a quant. Both will give you a background of what a quant is and why people are trying to become quant. So to become a quant, you need a minimum of a master's degree. Um, there are a variety of ways, I think, to become what we like to call a quant. Um, typically, a quant was originally defined as someone who more or less built financial derivative products. Uh, this would naturally fall under a master's degree in financial engineering. And for the, those of you that don't know, there are not very many PhDs in financial engineering and the course loads are typically as strenuous as PhD programs, if not more. Um, the workload's really heavy, but it's all done quickly. I think like a decent program would be a year and a half to two years. I would encourage you to take longer versus shorter because you can learn a lot more and learn it a lot deeper. So becoming a quant, you first off, you need a master's degree. Um, how you get there, I think, depends. Again, having a master's degree in financial engineering is very good. Um, Having a master's degree in other fields can also get you there. You can have a master's in applied economics, economics, statistics, mathematics, physics is another popular one. There's a variety of ways to get there. But as I mentioned in the how to become a quant video, it really comes down to knowing the four base kind of structures. You need to have math, you need to have statistics, you need to have computer science, and you need to have your field of topic, which is typically finance, but it could be something else. So now that you have the master's, now that you've taken all these classes, um, it's important on which classes you take. And like I said, covering those four areas. So I started in a financial engineering program. Um, I didn't finish it. My program got canceled. I didn't like the program I was in. I didn't feel it was beneficial to me. So I transferred into a applied economics program, which had more or less only a few core courses we had to take and then a variety of electives. My electives were financial engineering and finance based with more of them being on financial engineering. So I try to take as much stats and mathematics as I could because I have a solid background in finance. Uh, computer science is something else that I wish I would have taken more classes in. However, I've learned a lot doing financial engineering because I worked alongside a lot of students who are computer science majors uh, for undergrad and they taught me a lot about computer science. So that's kind of how you become a quant is you need to get an undergraduate degree. Uh, typically it's easiest if you get something that's mathematical because it makes it easier to move from the mathematical bachelor's degree or undergraduate degree to a master's degree that's quantitative. But don't forget to take some core courses in like the field that you're modeling. So one thing I see that really bugs me is people are quants and they know a little bit about, for example, finance, but they don't really understand what they're modeling. And so even though you're really good at math, you're really good at statistics, you're really good at computer science, you can implement these models, develop them, Sometimes you make more or less garbage models or you don't understand why your model is not the best model because you don't really understand what you're modeling. And so you might miss good variables. You might miss, I don't know, a variety of other important topics and aspects to your model. So that's more or less how to become a quant. You need a master's. You need to take at least those four different areas. So stats, math, computer science, and your area of study. Uh, once you have all these, again, being a quant is more or less the process. You need to keep learning after you graduate, when you hit the job. I mean, even when you're about to retire, you should still be learning every day. Uh, quantitative finance is changing very, very fast. Um, artificial intelligence is a big topic right now. And I think to be a real quant, you need to be up on the trends. You need to be following new modeling techniques, uh, new computer science methods, optimization, stuff like that. So that's how you become a client. I hope you guys find this helpful. Uh, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you like this video or like to see other videos on being a quant, what's not a quant, uh, stuff like that. But as always guys, until next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.